This is Gene Delisio with a featured sports interview from WDLB and WOSQ. Marshfield Susie Bladel was a three-sport standout at Marshfield High School between 1985 and 1988, competing in tennis, basketball, and softball. Susie was a three-time first-team all-conference player in tennis, a team captain and team MVP in basketball, and a first-team all-state softball player in 1988. Susie was inducted into the Marshfield Tiger Athletic Hall of Fame in the fall of 2014. It was just an amazing evening. I didn't think I'd be as emotional as I am, but coming back and seeing the coaches, just knowing what my experiences in Marshfield meant to me and how it really helped me develop you know, my foundation for how I would proceed with the rest of my life. And it was just an incredible evening. Tell us about your early athletic experiences in Marshfield, perhaps even before you got to Marshfield High School. Uh, well, I initially just started out by, you know, picking up games with my neighborhood friends, um, basketball, baseball, after supper, you know, whatever we could do. I remember taking some basketball camps down at Purdy, the Purdy building with um, Coach Rozak. I didn't know anybody else there because they were all mostly um, from the parochial schools, um, but I went every day and um, learned some good ball handling drills from him and, and some very good basketball. Um, softball, um, first started playing in team level at about the age of nine with the rec department, and that's when I first met Mr. Kaplin. Um, I think they were kind of surprised that this little 60-pound skinny little girl who could somehow heave the ball pretty well from shortstop to first base, and the, probably the shirt went down to my ankles, but um, it, was, it was a great experience. Um, Trying to think of when I started tennis, probably not. You know, I took a few lessons through the rec department as a young age, but really started being serious about it in seventh grade. Um, Mr. Swenson um, coached the junior high team, and he had a lot to do with how I developed as a player early on. I took some lessons from him and some other people in the community. Um, got me involved in tournaments, and, and, and that really helped me develop my skills and prepare me for high school. We've talked to a lot of women who have been named to this Hall of Fame who came through Marshfield High School late 70s, early 80s, you know, seven, eight, nine years before you did, and they talked about being more or less pioneers in terms of girls athletes in high school. It seems like you were kind of beyond that. You didn't see too much of that. It was pretty much in place when you came through school. Is that correct? Yes, there were programs um, all the way. Even we had, I remember, at Washington School playing in a basketball league on Saturday mornings. Um, so there were some opportunities for girls at a young age. Um, nowhere near like it is now where they have the club teams at a very young age and they travel throughout the state. But um, I think there were already those opportunities in place when I started. Let's talk about uh, your sports individually. First of all, tennis, and it seems like you excelled in this pretty early. It seems like you got into it almost a bit on the late side, but had good success early. How did you take the, to the game of tennis so quickly? Um, well, my older sisters played, um, which helped because I could go out and play with them. I often went and just hit against the backboard and tried to get consistent. When I, like I said, I was a pretty active child, so whenever I had downtime, I was never sitting. I would either be shooting basketballs in the driveway or hitting against the backboard or finding somebody to, to play with. Um, I was fortunate. Somehow my parents let, you know, found the means to help me take private lessons. I did go to tennis camps in the summer once, you know, once a year at Bachman Lang down in um, Milwaukee area. Um, so they really helped me develop my skills by providing me with the experiences that I needed. And you walked into a very, very good tennis program. Coach Kaler and Coach Swenson have built a real strong program at that year. What was it like for a young lady, perhaps 14 years old, a high school freshman, to walk into a program that was that successful? Um, it was amazing. I mean, it was you kind of just expected of us that we would win, so, you know, we would just go out there and do our thing. Um, 
Coach Kaler had a way of coaching without really coaching. Like he would let us do what we needed on the court, but then come out and then maybe the next practice he would say, okay, these are the things I saw that we need to work on. So um, he knew that we were very competitive and he kind of let us do in our own um, thoughts after a loss or um, after maybe we played not the greatest, but then the next day he would say, okay, let's work on these, these skills. And I think that mode of coaching and works very well with girls in general instead of doing the pounding on what you didn't do correctly um, right away and it, and it was successful for for us as a team. And of course you had some great success in that tennis program. When you look back on your tennis career, what kind of things do you think about? Any highlights you have in, in tennis? I remember winning my first tennis tournament ever um, in seventh grade of my doubles partner, Teresa Reyes, and we were, she was actually my doubles partner in high school, so we knew each other very well by that time, but we were at um, a country club in Stevens Point, not, you know, we had shorts and the t-shirts on, we weren't expected to do anything, but we ended up winning that tournament and it was very fun. I still have my trophy from that tournament. Um, also playing at state my senior year was very memorable. We won our first match and lost to Homestead, I believe, our second match and they ended up going very far in the tournament. Our team as a total took seventh in state that year. Um, and really, I loved going down to the Menominee Falls tournament with Mr. Kaler every year. Sometimes we would stay with players uh, from Menominee Falls, and we'd get to meet other people. Sometimes he'd take us on other trips, and it was just a very nice experience as a team. It was before the season started, so we got to build um, some relationships among the players and with Coach Kaler before the season even started. Let's uh, switch gears to basketball here. Tell us about some of your early basketball memories. Really, the, very early on, it was really um, going to the camps that Mr. Rozak taught um, and learning a lot, very important about ball handling. I mean, I would do drills in the winter in my basement, um, and I was out in the winter in the driveway shooting baskets. Um, then in junior high, from you know seventh grade to ninth grade, I remember freshman year we had Mr. Greenwood as a coach, and he was he was a good coach, but he made us work hard. He made us run if we uh, or I just remember running a lot if uh, we didn't do something right. Um, but he instilled in us, you know, a, he knew what we were capable of, and he he made sure that we we performed up to those standards, which was good. It prepared us for high school. Uh, and you got to play high school ball rather early. I think as your sophomore, you came up and played on the varsity. Tell us about that experience of going up so early and playing high school basketball for the Tigers. Uh, well, it's definitely a learning curve there. Um, you know, coming up against, I wasn't very tall, so a lot of the people that guarded me or I guarded were taller than me, but thankfully I was quick too, so um, I think that helped. Um, we, you know, unfortunately, you know, we were prepared to have a fairly decent year, my sophomore year, but some of the players had um, gotten caught with alcohol, so there were several players, especially upperclassmen, that got um, had to leave the team. So we were a very young team, and I just remember trying to build from that, which was very hard at first. My worst memory my sophomore year was being uh, losing to DC Everest. I believe the score was something like 80 to 12, and that was very frustrating. They ended up winning state that, that year, and so in the program, we were listed at, as one of those losses, so that was kind of humorous. And it was, we hoped that as seniors, we could beat them because we had a very good team our senior year, and I think we lost to them overtime one game in by um, two, one or two points the second time we played them. So not quite ever get that win, but um, we came close. You did have uh, several players you played with for those three seasons at Marshfield High School. Tell us about those players and what they meant to you. For basketball? Yeah. Um, yes, um, we had a pretty close-knit team. We had Sarah Craig was our um, our center, and she, of course, did very well with basketball. Um, we just had a connection. One, and I remember one time playing zone. They were in practice playing against a zone defense, and Coach Fagan just said, 
showed me one time, look at this, and he showed me that if I was on the weak side, I could lob it in to Sarah, and she'd put it up. And after that time, I think, with my softball skills, I was able to do that fairly accurately, and so um, we got a lot of easy baskets that way. Um, Tammy Ostrike at the time, she was a very good shooting forward. Um, we're very close friends to this day. Um, she was a great defender too and very fast, so we had a lot of fast breaks um, that way. Um, it was, you know, just great to develop friendships on the team and work together throughout the years because we were such a young team. As you mentioned, you came up as a sophomore, played three years. What was it like to see the progress your team made over the course of your high school career? I, was, I think it was very incredible that we could um, come together, and I think it, it was all started because we were that kind of thrown together as sophomores and said, okay, go out and play now. Um, and we all knew that we had to work as a team in order to succeed, and we were resilient, and we just came through, and each year just kept building on, on, on the skills that we had. I think a lot of us took advantage of summer camps that we could go to or were invited to. Um, I know Tammy and I um, refed and coached basketball, which just kind of helped with the um, knowledge of the game itself. And um, I think because we knew each other so well, we just became a better ball team because of that. Any uh, special memories you have about basketball at Marshfield High School? Stand out for you? I think... Um, I re well, as a team, I remember going down to a tournament and preseason and staying in the hotels and, and just bonding as a team. I remember Tammy and I trying to find the, write down the lyrics to Red Red Wine for some reason. Um, so those kinds of things were very memorable. Um, I remember, I think my best game ever was against, and we ended up losing, but it was against Stevens Point my senior year. I think I had 24 points. I don't think I had any turnovers, maybe one, and they played a zone defense full court on us that game, um, and it was it was a fun game because everything just seemed to click, but unfortunately we came out on the losing end of that one. Um, How about uh, playing for Coach Fagan? What was that like for you? Um, it was good. I think he, he um, like I said, he had a very young team to deal with. He definitely helped us learn to work as a team. He developed good plays around the strengths of each player. Um, I remember he had a play for me our senior year where I would, we would rebound in and I would shoot a three-point shot from the sideline. Um, and there was just one practice where I put one in, and then ever since then I had figured it out. And so it was kind of nice after that. Um, either they guarded me and I dumped it into Sarah, or um, or they didn't guard me and I hit the three-point shot. So that was a great play. And he had kind of had that insight to develop a play for each each of his players. Now, how about your softball career? Tell us about some early softball memories you have. Softball was special to me. I don't know why. I love playing softball. Um, I remember just scrounging on that field, playing shortstop for Mr. Kaplin. Um, I also worked with the rec department, so um, a lot of that 1991 team that was here tonight, I actually coached early on when they were on the rec team when I was just a you know, student coach. Um, it, it was special playing softball, I think, even in junior high. Um, it was always fun. The coaches didn't really put a lot of pressure on it, but they worked on fundamentals and um, just making it a fun experience for everybody. Um, freshman year, I played on the JV with Coach Greenwood, um, primarily so I could stay at second base and get more infield experience. Um, I remember playing Stevens Point. Um, I I believe it was in extra season, um, after season, as a varsity player, as a freshman. And I hit a triple off the number one pitcher in the state, so I was pretty pretty happy about that. I basically just connected and it somehow went to right field. Um, and then I'm playing outfield initially my sophomore year for varsity, um, which I had to learn a lot because I had never played outfield very much. But um, Coach Hamlin really helped me develop my skills there and then playing um, second base um, the rest of my career, which was very fun. I loved, um, we had a great pitcher, Kate Wolf. She was an All-State pitcher our senior year. 
uh, great center fielder, Melissa Bell. Um, she, she was All-State as well. Um, and we just had this connection. Uh, our catcher, Katie Luschek, she could always throw it down to me at second base. Um, it was just nice to have that you know, center connection. We were very close as a team. Um, we did a lot off the team. We were just kind of a goofy bunch. And I loved how Coach Kaplan let us be our goofy selves, but still have respect for how we were on the field and, and helped us kind of hone our skills and, and, and be as good as we were. I do feel we had a state caliber team that year. Um, unfortunately, we beat Stevens Point in the, in the regional finals and lost our catcher because she hurt her knee. We had, and it kind of threw everything off the next game. Our pitcher wasn't on as well because we had a very, very new catcher. Um, and I just think it just kind of threw everybody off. Um, but I, I do think we had a very strong team our, my senior year. As you mentioned, you did not go to state in softball, but you did have some very, very good teams. This team was always a conference contender, always contending for a regional or sectional berth. What was it like to play on a team every year that was uh, that talented? It was fun. I mean, I think um, we always pushed each other a little bit more. Um, we... We had competition at every level, so we always knew, you know, if, if we weren't up to par, you know, we, someone would come sneak us in because everyone wanted to play on such a good team. Um, and it, like I said, it would never felt like work with Coach Kaplan and Coach Hamlin. It was always fun. They worked us hard, but it didn't feel like work at the time. Um, and I think it was just expected that we would, you know, play our best and, and hopefully eke out a win. Um, in those situations. As, as you mentioned, you really enjoyed softball. What were, what do you think were some of the real strengths of your game as a softball player? I think I had my strengths, I think, were my fielding abilities. I think I um, had very few errors both my years. Um, as a second baseman, I was unanimous, you know, all conference my, my last year. Um, I also was a very consistent hitter. I didn't really hit for power. I hit a lot of base hits. Um, but I got on base either by a walk, bunt, or hit down, you know, many times up the bat. Um, my average was pretty high. Um, I think I, I had, I didn't really doubt my skills, you know, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I had a lot of confidence on the field and I always wanted the ball hit to me. And I'd be like, all right, give it to me, I'll get this out. And I remember in regionals, um, playing Stevens Point, who had beat us in the conference, and I was like, hit it to me, I'll get this out. And it was the final out and it was hit to me and, and it was a bouncer, but I got in through the first for that last out and, and it was a pretty amazing feeling. And you talked about Pete Kaplan and Wayne Hamlin. Can you give us some thoughts about what it was like to play for them? They, they just really connected with, with each of the players on the team. And I think that that you know, says a lot for them. Um, Mr. Kaplan and I had the opportunity to work with both on and off the field. Um, as you know, he was my boss for the rec department for a while, and and then um, he was my teacher in seventh grade. And um, he just always, like I said, became a father figure for most of the people on the team. He we went out to lunch a lot. Like even after I graduated, I would come back and we go out to lunch. And um, I, I think he just really knew the personality of each of his players and knew how to coach them. Mr. Hamlin, again, was very approachable. I remember as a team, we'd stop by his house. I don't know if he even liked that or not, but we'd stop by and, and talk to him for you know a little while, on the, even on the evenings and the weekends. Um, and he never complained about it or told us to go away. Um, he would always take us somewhere special on our trips away. Like one time we went to a bakery because he loved the donuts and everything there, and he was showing us um, something that he really loved. And he, they always shared you know, their personal stories with us, so we felt like we could build that relationship and have a connection. Marshfield Tiger tennis, basketball, and softball standout Susie Bladel inducted into the Marshfield Tiger Athletic Hall of Fame in the fall of 2014. This is Gene Delisio reporting for WDLB and WOSQ Sports.